I'm going to show you how I made this arts and crafts clock. I'm calling it arts and crafts because it has that chunky oak quality that's quite uh, traditional, quite part of arts and crafts. It also has this sort of tile effect. Adding tiles was quite a common thing, but I've done this here by adding milk paints to the background and polishing them up. And I think that gives a very nice effect. We've also got an arts and crafts style numbering here. Now the whole piece is simple woodwork. It's just three bits put together um, with dowels. Uh, this bottom bit is the same wood, only uh, the oak has been ebonized. In other words, it's been given a treatment with a sort of uh, wire wall vinegar mix that produces ferrous acetate and that gives this fantastic uh, ebonizing black color to the oak. So there's this, there's this, there's this, there's various parts to the whole project. But I'm going to start with the dragonfly because you could just carve this standalone. It could be an, on its own dragonfly, it could be left and right. You could use it on cupboard doors, on bed heads, something like that. And you don't even have to put it in a frame. You can have it straight off the background. So we'll start with the dragonfly. And then after that, I'll show you how to do the, you know, put the whole clock together. And there's a download below which has the working drawings and so on. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> 